to another weekly vlog. So your girl just got done filming. I just filmed a fall and winter essentials fashion video featuring all of my thrifted finds. You guys have seen all of <laughs> my thrifted finds in previous videos. So I went ahead and did a dedicated video for that. And yes, girl, we got a new slash old unit in. I love bringing out this unit in like the fall and winter because of the blonde, like brownish tones in it. This unit is from Eunice Hair. So if you're interested in this unit, I will link it in the description bar down below. The top is, um, where is this from? The top is from H&M and the bottoms are thrifted men's trousers. Okay. So now that we got that out of the way, I am so excited to jump into this week. I feel very like just free. I've released some things. I'm excited. And girl, you know, when you get your hair done, you always feel better after that. But anywho, I'm looking over here because I have all of my Christmas decor out. So we're going to be setting up our Christmas tree today. I'll show you guys what I've picked up as far as new end items. I don't have much because I don't want it to look like Christmas threw up in here, but I do want pops of things here and there. I also want to use as much of the things that I had last year, but I am gonna be incorporating in more greens this season. So super excited to set everything up and kind of catch a vibe with Christmas decor. Super excited about that. Oh, and I picked up some cute Christmas pajamas, girl. And the last vlog, me and my mom went thrifting. I didn't show you guys what I got, but if you watch the video, you will see what I got. Like I said, I just filmed it. So yes, I'm gonna show you guys the Christmas pajamas. So I'm probably gonna put those on this evening, catch a vibe with some wine, make a little drinky drink, and put up the Christmas decor. Um, I'm hungry. It is 11, 12. So at 12, my husband and I are going to make a quick home goods trip because I do need to hang those curtains that I told you guys about. So we're gonna hang the curtains, but we need curtain rods. So I'm gonna go into home goods and we're gonna be looking for curtain rods in there. I'm also gonna be meandering around looking through the Christmas decor too because I'm itching. I did really, really good. I was disciplined, but now that I have everything out and I can see where the holes are, shopping is going to be much easier. And then of course, we're gonna grab some lunch or something, not sure where, but yeah, I just wanted to hop on, introduce this week's vlog, say, hey girl, and I'll see you guys a little bit later on in the day. Bye. All right, y'all, hubby and I are about to get ready to go to lunch and to home goods, but I want to show you guys a closer look at the fit. Again, top H&M trousers are thrifted. I'm gonna be throwing on these torrid flats that I told you guys about in the last vlog. And then I'm gonna put on this bag. This bag, I believe, is from Shein, but you can get it from Amazon, Shein, Commence, several different places. And throwing on my, my thrifted sunglasses. And this is the look. All right, see y'all at Home Goods. Home goods. So I'm going to quickly show you guys 
um, what I got from Home Goods, and we just stopped at Zaxby's for lunch. What's y'all Zaxby's order? Because for me, I always get the Big Zax snack with a vanilla Coke and some chocolate chip cookies. Don't judge me, judge your mama. But today, I ended up getting the sandwich that has the chicken tenders on it with like the buffalo sauce and the ranch. So good. Anywho, that's what I got. We went into Home Goods and they did not have the curtain rods that I wanted. Then, um, so my husband went into Marshall's. They didn't have it. So he went into Ross. Mm. He picked up some. I'm not really a fan. They don't look as substantial to me. They look a little bit cheapy, but I'm gonna let them put them up and then see how it goes. Anywho, before we get into the Christmas goodies, I told you guys last week that I had some hair in from Eunice Hair. So shout out to Eunice Hair for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So this is the Bye Bye Knots wig. This wig is going to be a very beginner, user-friendly wig. I'm super excited to get into this. Now, you guys know I love Eunice Down. This is a Eunice wig that I have on right now. This is a V part. So I am going to be getting more, well, getting back into my V part units, my U parts, and like mm, dibble and dabble in some full units. You know, I like a more natural look. But I've been wearing uh, sew-in installs for about two to three months and I love a good sew-in. However, I really want to treat my hair underneath and I feel like wigs, it's easier for me to take them on and take them off and make sure my hair stays moisturized. I do want to, again, create a better routine with my natural hair, hence getting in some more units. Now, um, this might sound petty, but for those who wear wigs, this is probably like very, very normal. I need a gym wig, okay? So I don't wanna work out in the wig that I wear daily because I don't want it to sweat or things like that. The good thing about a wig is you style it like once a week, maybe once every two weeks, and the curls stay in, you just take it off, put it back on, blah, 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 blah. But if you wear the same unit that you install, daily to the gym it's like having a sew-in or a real your real hair you're always like over manipulating the hair so this i figured is going to be my gym wig because baby we want to look cute in the gym too so again this is the bye bye knotless wig and this is in a curly texture so let's see what it is giving girl and i forgot what length i got i think i got a 20 22 or 24. I'll put on the screen the exact one that I got. Ooh, okay. Looks cute. Looks cute. So for me, I love curly hair, but I don't want it to be attached to my head because I want it to be able to detangle it, let it air dry. You know the vibes, letting curly hair air dry on your head is time consuming and it's just a pain. So I am excited to have this. Look at the, ooh, girl, look at this. It's so cute. I like it. Look at the, look at the, oh my goodness. Look at the bounce, look at the sheen on it. It looks so good. So off the top, I love the texture of this hair and again this is a glueless wig so you do not have to do any application on the wig and as you can see here baby it is called bye bye knotless for a reason they come pre-bleached pre-plucked and the hairline looks fairly good as well so i am going to be trying this unit on it looks great I can already tell that it is in your kind of natural one beat. Girl, look, mm, mm. I can already tell I'm going to love, love this wig. This is going to be perfect for a cute gym moment. And even outside of the gym, babe, this is so cute. But I can already tell that I do want this hair to be jet black. You guys know I'm a jet black girl if I'm not wearing color like this unit here. So I'm really, really excited to try this out. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this unit and pop this one on just to get the vibes, girl, just to see. And again, it is already, like the lace has already been cut off for you. I love that because, you know, normally for people like me who don't wear full units, you have to kind of figure out how to cut the hair around the hairline, how to cut the ear tabs off. And this appears to be done for me. So again, I'm about to go on camera, pop this on, and then I will be right back to show you guys what this looks like. I'm very excited, let's see. All right, girl, so I have taken off my other unit and we are going to pop this one on. So let's see, it does have an adjustable strap in the back, so we are going to use that, girl. And let's see, let's see. wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute i love it hold on hold on we, let me go wait i'll be right back okay so y'all see how my mouth is agape look look at this unit look at how gorgeous this hair is it looks so good i love the texture i love the density it looks amazing if i hadn't already brought out my blonde baby i would be rocking this this looks so good oh yes ma'am oh yes ma'am we will be rocking this so when you see this in future videos know that this is the Bye Bye Knotless wig from Eunice Hair, and it is completely glueless. The hairline is already nice and plucked for you. I would like kind of change this part to make it more centered in the middle. Very, very much beginner friendly. I haven't applied any product. You hear me, any product in this hair. This is what the hair looks like straight out of the pack. I'm obsessed, it's extremely flat, no lumps, it fits my head beautifully. So again, if you're interested in this hair, it will be linked in the description bar down below. Again, I think this is the 24 inch. I will link it on the screen for you guys as well as my discount code if you are interested. Also, if you purchase one of these units, you will get a complimentary curling iron. Isn't this so cute? Look how cute this wand curler is. It has the Eunice logo on it and this beautiful Barbie pink. Okay, okay, Eunice. Girl, I am feeling myself in this little unit. What y'all think? Cute, this me? Ooh, I have to see what the hubby think about this one. With my head back and forth. Ooh, child, I feel like a new new me. Girl, let me put this other unit back on so I uh act like I got some sense. But Eunice, you you did something with this one, girl. We like. All right, let me show you what I got for Christmas decor. All right, child, and just like that, we are back to being a blonde. I'm telling y'all, I love Eunice down. Sponsored or not, baby, they keep your girl looking cute. And I cannot wait till, you know, you know when you dye or wear a colored unit, it only lasts. You know, that little feeling of feeling cute, like a new, new you, only lasts about three weeks and then you'd be ready to go back black. So when I'm ready to go back, I'm definitely gonna grab that unit. All right, so it is 2.46. I have a little bit more time before my son gets off the bus. So let me show you guys what I got from Home Goods. All right, so from Home Goods, I picked up a wreath for my front door. The one that I had was just really dated, old. I think I had it since like 2017, 2018. And this is what my new one 
looks like. Ooh, isn't she gorgeous? I am obsessed and she was only $39.99. Now let me tell you, women, come close. Do not take your husband to the store with you when you are about to get ready to spend some money. Real money on like decor and things like that, they just don't get it. But when it's up, sprinkled around the home, they're like, oh my God, it looks so good in here. It looks so magical, baby. You did your thing. You're like, yeah, mm -hmm. pat me on the back. But you don't know how much it costs. So when I showed him this wreath, he was like, oh my God, it, he likes it. It was nice. He's like, yeah, that's cool. We can get that one. And he was like, $39.99? Why is it so much? I'm like, excuse me? A wreath this size that looks this realistic? can go upwards to $65, $80. So $40, this is a steal. There was no way I was walking, I wasn't walking out of home goods with this wreath. He, he had to get on to the back, like, okay, I'm getting it. Super, super cute. So I can't wait to put this out with my doormat. And girl, it's heavy. Like I'm kind of struggling to keep it up. It's heavy, it's substantial. Look at the greenery. It looks so realistic. It has like this cypress, like juniper tree style figs on it. And it has these kind of eucalyptus in them as well. Very, very cute. I love that this doesn't have like any berries or any ribbon or anything like that because that is going to make it timeless. I love that. And if any year I'm feeling kind of festive and I wanna add those things in, I can do so with some zip ties and some wire. We'll be good to go. Um, I do have like some gold um, bells that I may or may not hang from this. But yes, I like it. I'm obsessed. $39.99. And this style, like I said, I don't know if it's cypress or juniper or whatever it is. It matches the garland that I picked up from Kirkland's. And let me show you guys the garland. So again, I picked up the garland from Kirkland's. Now, I picked this up probably back in September. This is the viral garland that I see every year. And every year I miss out on it and I said, not this year. So I got it back in September. This is also the garland that I said when I got sick with the vid. It was there for forever and they almost sold my garland, girl. Anyway, this is what it looks like. This is a five foot Christmas garland. Again, this kind of mimics the cypress. Oh, just, oh my God. Like every time I get it out, it sparks joy. Are y'all seeing this? Do y'all see how luxe this looks? It is just so good. This is like the best garland that I've ever had. And it, it smells good. It smells like pine or something. Anywho, this was $39.99 from Kirkland's. When I picked this up in the store, the girl was like, oh, I'm so glad you came and got it because we was about to sell it. I said, sell who? Sell what? My stuff? Don't play with me. But anywho, she was like, all of the workers, they didn't even get to get theirs. It sold out so fast. They have this, I believe, this is a five foot and they have it in 15 foot as well. For those who have those beautiful grand like staircases in their entryway, this is what people use time and time again. And like I said, girl, I was not missing out on it this year. So I plan on putting this on my entryway table with a few Christmas trees. It is going to be such a vibe. And I don't know if I'll get, yeah, I'll get around to it in this vlog. We're decorating for Christmas in this vlog, baby. And this and that wreath, mm, I did good. All right, now let me show you some things that I plan on putting outside on my balcony. All right, so for outside, I just got your standard um, wreaths. These are gonna go outside on my windows so that from the street, you can see these wreaths. Now they look fairly small, um, but they have to be fluffed out. And then I'm gonna also put um, Christmas lights around them. So they're gonna look very cute, twinkling from the road, obsessed. I picked up both of these when we went to Hobby Lobby together. And I think they were on sale. I know they were like 40% off. The tag of the price tag is not on here, but I think I spent about 15 bucks each on these. 
Really, really like them. It's gonna be a vibe on the balcony. And then lastly, what I picked up, I think I got this from Michaels and it is, let's see if we can focus. There it is. It is um, ribbon that I plan on putting on the tree. This is my color palette for this year. Last year it was just red and white only, but I am incorporating this beautiful like hunter green in, less of the red, more of the green, but you know, pops of red here and there. I really like this. I picked up two of them. Now my goal or my plan, I should say, was to have two smaller pencil trees in my apartment, but um, I was gifted some trees from the brand Costway. So I'm going to pull those out of the boxes and see if they are giving. If they're giving, then I will move forward with the two trees. If not, I will still move forward with the two trees, but I'm gonna put them on my balcony. So I'm very excited to see. I actually kind of like the idea of putting them on my balcony instead of putting them inside. We'll see, because I already have a beautiful tree of my own. So we'll see how that goes. And then lastly, I think from Hobby Lobby, I picked up these here. Now these are just your standard ornaments. Well, not necessarily standard. These are very big ornaments and that beautiful hunter green. So on this side, we have the matte, the sparkly glitter one in the middle, and then the shiny on the outside. These are gonna pair well with the ornaments that I already have, which are large like matte white ones. And then I have some smaller white ones that kind of look like snowballs. So very excited to get started. So yeah, let me put some of this stuff away and let's get started. All right, y'all, it is much later on in the day. We are about to get unready. As you guys can see, I have on my Christmas pajamas that I picked up from the thrift store. The set cost me like $7.49. But yes, I'm about to take off this makeup now that it is super, super greasy. And then I'm going to go into the kitchen, fix me a nice drink. When my husband and I went to um, the wedding, he got a crown apple and Coke. I tasted, it was really good. I forgot how good those drinks taste. So I did stop by the liquor store and got that drink. And I have these cute thrift store glasses that I'm gonna put it in. So we're about to have a little nightcap and relax job. Um, also, I did get my two Christmas trees up and I put my wreath on my door outside i will show you guys the very small things that i've done thus far but yeah girl i'm about to catch a vibe and get this makeup off my face first things first so i'm going to be removing my makeup with this pons cold cream this you can get from cvs walgreens whatever and then after that i'm going to be cleansing with the CeraVe foaming facial cleanser. This is for oil control because I am an oily girl. Afterwards, I'm going to be following up with this. It says new, but I don't know, child. I pick it up from TJ Maxx. This different gel. It is a pore minimizing toner. Need this. And then um, probably going to be adding in some of this collagen. There it is. By Skin Assistant. And then after that, we're gonna be applying some of this topicals, some of this topicals fade cream for underneath my eyes and my problem areas. And then lastly, we're gonna be finishing up with the L'Oreal Night Cream. This has retinol and I believe hyaluronic acid in it. So yes, I'm about to go ahead and do this skincare and then make my drink.
you guys a little bit of an update. As you can see, the first set of curtains are hung. I did change out the curtain rod. I got another curtain rod from Amazon, like it so much better. Both of the trees look great. So they will be staying in here. Again, both trees were from Costway. If you're interested in the trees, I will link them in the description bar down below, but they're nice, slender, pencil style trees, and they work perfect in these little corners of my apartment. And what I really like about them is it has this little touch thing down here. So when you step on it, it changes the colors to like your traditional lights. And then back to this, I think they have like a twinkle setting. Let's see, there's the twinkle setting. And then let's see, the setting where they kind of dance back and forth between both. So really like that. My son really likes it as well, but I normally just keep it on, of course, the standard lighting for now. As you can see a little bit from outside, my wreaths are up as well. They have the lights wrapped around them. So I am liking how everything is looking. I had to move my bar cart here. I think I like it. It looks pretty good. Like when you come in from the entrance, back up a little bit so this is what you see never mind the mess here but i really really like it and then for now i just placed the garland here and a few things that i had from last year on the table don't know if that will stay and then outside let me show you guys the wreaths So this is the reef, super, super cute. Fits the door perfectly. And then back inside. So like I said before, I am about to fix a little drinky drink. We're gonna be using the crown apple super excited it takes me back to my college days child so we are going to be using this and then these are the cute little glassware that i picked up from the thrift store they were a dollar 95 cent each and to me these are screaming for brown liqueur in them so let's get started on the drinks <laughs> Thank you. 
happy sunday as you can see i am back in my closet my husband has put up this shelf for me and i have filled it to the max style with my additional accessories and as you can see the closet is now packed tight with all of my things i still have my mom drawer it is also a packed tight and i hung two hats here the hats are in heavy rotation right now and then i did a little bit of organizing these bags are just thrown up here girl this is just the overflow and then a little bit a little bit of organization here mostly my pumps one pair of open-toed shoes because these are the ones that i plan on wearing for the holidays but all of my other open-toed shoes are put away and then down below again shoes that are in heavy rotation my new balance and my uggs are here and then the shoes that i wear to the gym are down here my sunglasses are still here and i'm okay with that because they were not able to fit on the shelf my measurements were off so that's cool plus i needed the shelf for real estate anyways so i am liking the way this is turning out I need to do some laundry again it is sunday so we are on a sunday reset so let me do that and i will talk to you guys a little bit later on just wanted to introduce the vlog and say hey girl also on sundays i prep my rack for the things that i am going to be filming and so this week i am filming part two of my tea mu haul so i have to organize these clothes place them here on the rack and then just kind of think about ideas that i'm going to wear with these items so i'm going to prop you guys up and do that now This is what the living room is currently looking like. And as I said, girl, I am obsessed. I did go with the two trees that I showed you guys earlier. But what I wanted to show you is the curtains. They are now up. So I ordered three sets of the curtains for a total of six panels. My original idea was to put two panels here. Um, a panel here, a panel here, and then two panels on the end. So this is what the two panels on the end looks like. Very, very cute, very luxe. And then I thought that these two would more so meet in the middle, creating that nice full luxe look as well. But it looks like based on the way they're hung, it doesn't look as full. So I'm not sure if I'm going to add in the additional panel here but i don't want to cover up like too much of the windows and then as you guys can see i do have the wreaths outside so this is what i was talking about as far as the sofa or sectional goes so you see how i already have the green 
on the couch and then I have the white and the green here. So this is where I'm gonna go ahead and switch out this pillow for the Christmas one. And like I said, I am really liking the way that it looks with both the Christmas trees. Stay tuned for the next vlog where I will be continuing to decorate for Christmas, but more specifically, decorating these trees. We need tree skirts um, and ornaments for both. But the last thing that I wanna show you guys with the curtain. So I really, really love the curtains, highly, highly recommend them they're very weighty they look very very luxe however they do need a good steam as you guys can see here they're very wrinkled so i did just kind of throw them up they've been up for a couple of days maybe two two days now and so some of the wrinkles have fell out but i am going to get my steamer out i also plan on doing a hack to keep them looking nice and pleated and also kind of stretched out I don't want them to be too close together, like at the top. So I'll insert a video of how I plan on making them look a little bit more luxe by using a, what do you call that? Um, toilet paper holder. So I've been saving all of my old toilet paper rolls and you're supposed to like place them in between like each rung on the back side of your curtain i'll show you guys in the next vlog how to do it and it's supposed to create like an elevated more luxe look so this is phase one with the curtains but as you can see having the curtains up in here just makes everything look so much better and super excited about how it is turning out so this is the pillow that i have from home goods i got this several years ago i still very much love this pillow but i haven't been using it so for now i'm going to go ahead and throw on this pillow cover over it it may or may not fit let's see okay so i stuffed <laughs> the other pillow into this pillow cover and i now, I kind of like it. I'm not in love, but I do like it. So I'm going to live with it for a little bit. It's very inexpensive. I believe it was about 10 bucks. So I'm not going to send it back. I may just kind of prop it up against the Christmas tree if I don't like it on the couch, but I think I like it. What do you guys think? Yay or nay? Okay, now that I've completely moved the other one out of the way and it's like not competing with it, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I'll see what my husband says when he gets in, but I think I like it. Mm, we'll see. Hey y'all, <laughs> it is much later on in the day. It is about four or five o'clock in the evening. I am currently in my son's room and I am tired. I've been in the mood for the last like three to four days. And I'm not really sure why it is Monday. By the way, it's a very gloomy day here in Atlanta. So I am probably about to be in my fields, put me on a cute Netflix movie and go to bed, girl. I just ate too. I need a nap. So me and my son are about to take a nap. I just had the turf and serve chicken sandwich from Popeye's. Very good. Highly recommend. But anywho, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I will see you guys next week for another one. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It really does help me out. And if you enjoy my vibe, think about hitting that subscribe button before you leave. And I will see you guys next week. Bye y'all.